in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design for a mayonnaise brand grab your mouse as we dive in first things first you are going to create a new document choose a solid color We are going to create another solid color. With the mark selected, we are going to grab a soft turn brush. Foreground is set to black, opacity is set to 100. With the right bracket key, we are going to increase the brush size. We are going to make a few clicks. Create a new linear with a soft arm brush. Foreground is set to white. Opacity is set to 100. We are going to click once, then we are going to reduce the opacity. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selected, control I to invert with the soft turn brush, foreground is set to white. We are going to reduce opacity a bit and we are just going to bring some back. Let's grab our asset. We are going to copy the mayonnaise. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. We are just going to position and adjust it right here. We right click and convert to a smart object. Okay, we are just going to position it and adjust it right here. Let's grab this item. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. With the in place, we are going to press Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we are just going to position and rotate it just this way. So we are going to copy the salads. With the two layers selected, we are just going to copy all of them together. So selecting layer 1, we are going to hold shift and select layer 4. Then we copy all together, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to position this right here. Right click and convert to a smart object. Then we are just going to position this right here. We are going to drop the linear.
I've already distorted all the money so you don't have to go through the stress. So we are going to select all the layers above the exposure adjustment layers. Then with the left arrow key, we are just going to move it a bit. We are going to create a test adjustment layer above all layers. With this layer selected. We are just going to drop the layer because that's much easier. With this layer selected, we are going to create a max. With the max selected, we grab a soft tan brush, right? Click and set hardness to 100. Opacity set to 100. With the left bracket key, we are going to reduce the size. And we are just going to set foreground to black. So we are going to be masking out this portion. Foreground set to white, we are going to paint some back. We do same for this with the layer selected. We are going to create a max with a max selected. With a soft hand brush. With a hard round brush, sorry. We are just going to mask out this portion. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer so the effect applies only to the layer. But before that, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to reduce the opacity. Then with the exposure adjustment layer selected, with the mark selected, Ctrl I T red with a soft turn brush. So we are going to right click and set hardness to zero. We are going to reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white because we are going to be painting some shadows. We are going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer with a max selected control I to invert. Foreground set to white, we are going to be painting some shadows.
we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Click the onto the layer with a max selected control I to invert. Foreground set to white, we are going to paint. So with the same technique, we are going to be applying some shadows. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Click onto the particular layer with the mask selected Ctrl I to invert. Then you are just going to be painting some shadows with your foreground color set to white. With this layer selected, we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mark selected, Ctrl I to invert. For this particular layer, I'm just going to be enhancing the shadows and the light. With a soft tone brush, for when it's set to white, we are going to reduce the opacity. Then we are just going to be painting some shadows. We are going to reduce the opacity. So we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. And that's for light. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft tone brush, pop when it's set to white, we are just going to paint. So we are going to invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With the soft tone brush, we are just going to be painting some shadows. So I'm just going to be painting more shadows, try to work on the whole composition better.
then we're going to slap this texture on the whole work. We are just going to slap this texture on the work, set the blend mode to soft light, and we are going to set opacity to 10. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert that to a smart object. And we are going for camera or so filter, camera or filter. All you are going to do is you are just going to play with all these settings until you like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then you hit OK. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time.